Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another video. I hope everyone is well. I got a couple of song synchronicities for you guys and I feel like, uh, again, a lot of the masculines are trying to reach out. They're trying to communicate with you in a lot of ways. Um, song synchronicities are coming back. The telepathy, a lot of passionate dreams as well. Be on the lookout for. Um, also, if you guys are finding yourselves holding space for your counterpart, be honest about that because if you are ready to attract it again or manifest it back into your life, you can't be stuck on like the energy that says, oh, I'm going to hold space and watch videos about them. But at the same time, when they come through and they make contact, I'm, I'm going to block them off, you know? Um, this reading is for those of you who deep down inside, you do still hold a lot of space for your counterpart and you love them and that's okay, all right? Because... You know, they're definitely coming towards you and I feel like I want to dig into this reading a little bit to find out what your masculine wants you to know. Um, just about how they're feeling towards you right now, Divine Feminine. Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so they genuinely love you. Is what I'm getting through this card here. They genuinely love you in a way that they've never loved anybody else before. Um, you know, the red cardinal as well might be a huge message for some of you. Maybe you're seeing them a lot more often than usual. You might be seeing them in pairs. I feel like the message is that once your masculine saw you, they already had their minds made up that like, that's the one, that's the one I want to be with for the rest of my life. And I don't care what the hell I'm going through right now. I don't care what kind of situation I'm involved in. I'm going to be with her. I'm going to have her. Uh, and that's just, you know, what I'm getting through this card. <laughs> so I had a bunch of cards fall on my lap just now, but I have the chariot card um, that stands out. And that's a major arcana that's coming through because a lot of them are actually ready to take action. They're tired of being pulled in two different directions when it comes to this connection. A lot of them just are ready to say, this is what I want and I'm going after it. And what a lot of them want you to know, Divine Feminine, is they've worked really hard on removing um a, a lot of people places and things that were standing in the way of you two connecting okay a lot of your masculines are thinking about you they're alone they're doing the inner work they have you on their mind okay we have the sword there we have the mirror there the energy of the five is that yeah they're going through a lot of changes there's a lot of disruption in their life as well um, but I feel like this change is coming at a time where they're deciding for themselves because this is Juan's energy, right? So I feel like a lot of them are like, listen, I need to, I need to start doing what makes me feel passionate in life. And that includes passionate relationships. Ever since you stepped into this divine masculine's life, I feel like no other relationship can hold a candle to you, divine feminine. Like, there's just no one else that he experiences the level of love, unconditional love, trust. That's a big thing for your divine masculine, by the way, is like trust. Like, they can trust you. They don't, they don't have that. They, they, they never experienced being in a relationship and being able to trust the partner that they're with. And I'm getting from many of your masculines, they've been involved with the types of women who have been toxic, who do use manipulation with ride um they've not been able to fully sleep <laughs> with both eyes closed but when it comes to you divine feminine you know they're thinking about things like marriage and like long-term commitments because you're the type of person that um they can close both eyes with they can cuddle with you and sleep they don't have to worry about you sneaking out of bed in the middle of the night and taking your phone to the bathroom to answer text messages that you're receiving in the middle of the night these are the types of partners that your divine masculine has been dealing with a lot of your masculines also have realized that it was because of their own energy as well they were attracting partners who were doing the same types of things that they were doing as well when they connected with you divine feminine i feel like this knight of wands wasn't expecting to feel as passionate as he did when he started communicating with you and talking to you right like you might have been on his mind for a really long time and then he started experiencing bumps in the road with his karmic partner and when he started experiencing bumps in the road with the karmic partner he started exploring himself a little bit more you know what like let me start doing things for myself then he started catching himself looking at your profile more like you know what i've always had my eye on this person i've never been able to get them out of my mind 
they they shoot their shot or maybe you might have reached out in some kind of subtle way divine feminine and since then you've always been on their minds and it's like you know this type this time around i feel like a lot of them are wanting to take action towards you that's it speaks about passionate communication okay they may not they may not be ready to like make a huge commitment right now or marry you or whatever the case is but this card tells me that they're ready to speak some truth they're ready to start taking action towards like their desires they're done wasting time in um like relationships that don't feel passionate they don't feel loving or supportive is what i'm getting and he feels supported by his feminine this is what your masculines are doing in the last reading i shared i talked about them watching you guys through fake accounts trying to communicate with you and you guys are calling them out on it and there's no way that they can get close to you unless it's coming from an authentic place and i think that that is the lesson here divine masculines you've got to move towards your feminine because remember if you trust her then coming towards her and being vulnerable and letting her know I can't make a commitment because I'm dealing with drama or recovering from past relationships, but I still think about you. I still hold space for you. How do you feel about me? Many masculines in the past have been really scared to make that step. But at this point, I hear a lot of them intuitively, like I see them guys, they're sitting on their beds, they're watching your profile, they're trying to communicate with you. And I feel like at this point, they're like, listen, I have nothing to lose. Like. I've already lost so much just by not pursuing this relationship. So for a lot of them right now, you know, the frustration comes from just not being able to get close to you and they're ready to take this action. All right, whoever this reading was for, I hope it finds you well. Take care and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.